everyone. We're planning a special party. Come on! Do you have any questions you need answered? Mm, not right now. 
But I can help you put up your sign. Whoa! Cool. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> that looks awesome. We make a pretty good team, Jokey. Well, see you around. <gasps> hey, where's my lollipop? I put it in the jar, but now it's gone. Look, there's a clue. Sticky footprints. <gasps> that means someone stole my lollipop. And that means it's Detective Doki's first case. We're Team Doki. We have a question. Something we need to know. <laughs> Vico, we weren't Team Doki yet. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, speaking of helping, here, Gabby, I wrapped it myself. Aww. <laughs> a first aid kit for animals? Thank you. This is perfect. We really could have used this on our first expedition. Do you remember? I just found this injured bird and was just about to pull him out of a bush when... Yeah. <laughs> Oof! I've got him, Doki. I've got our candy thief. Uh... Tickle, tickle, tickle! Confess, <laughs> thief! Where's my candy? I'm not a thief! <laughs> and I'm not a him! What are you guys doing? I'm Detective Doki! And this is Fico. We're trying to find out where Fico's lollipop went. I know where it went, and I'm not letting go until she gives it back! Okay, three things. Number one, my name is Gabby. Number two, I'm trying to help an injured bird. And number three, I didn't take your candy. How do we know you didn't take my lollipop? I know how. Let's compare Gabby's feet to the footprints we found. Never mind my feet. I have to help that poor bird. Ugh, he's hiding in that uh, flower bush. Uh, tell you what, we'll help you with the bird if you help us find Fico's lollipop. Deal? Okay, but hurry. Where are these footprints you're talking about? Right here. See? I couldn't be your candy thief. My feet are too big. Besides, those are bird footprints. Hey, look! That's not just a bird in there. I see something metal. Metal? Maybe it's a robot candy thief. Get him! Calm down. Yeah, you'll scare the bird. Ugh, I think I can get him. I've got you. And I've got the bird. Pull me out. <laughs> Aw, his wings hurt. I bet he can't fly. Look, he has a tag. That's the metal thing I saw. Whoa, it says he's a homing pigeon. Homing? What does that mean? It means he's great at finding his way home. And this bird is a long way from home. Check out his address. Massimo's Cafe, Venice, Italy. Wow. But how did he get here? Sometimes homing pigeons get blown off course or catch rides on ships at sea. The tag says his name is Angelo. Whoa. Phew. I think we need a birdcage for this guy. At least until we can figure out how to get him home. Don't worry, little pigeon. We'll take care of you. That's it. My song should mention all of you in it. Like, ahem. <clears throat> Gabby loves all animals, even pigeons. She's brave and smart and... Aw, nothing rhymes with pigeon. Maybe a smidgen of hot chocolate will help you think. At least being stuck here is helping you with your song, Pico. <laughs> yeah, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> Still, this isn't as much fun as the party we had planned at the clubhouse. This will cheer you up, Annabella. It's so beautiful. Our new flies. Thanks, guys. I love to draw. And sometimes it really comes in handy. Remember the story? I was coloring with a pretty red crayon when... <laughs> Hi! What a cute little bird! Is he hurt? Yes, and he's also far from his home in Venice, Italy. And we don't know where that is. 
so we have to find a birdcage and a map. And my lollipop. I'm just saying. I can help with the map part. Awesome. You're really artistic. Annabella? Thank you. And even though it's not labeled yet, I bet you can find Italy. How can we do that? It's shaped like a boot. And I made it pizza colored. Hmm. 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 There it is! I wish I had some pizza. I'm hungry. Since a certain pigeon ate my candy. Birds don't eat candy. At least I don't think they do. Hey, we never tested Angelo's feet. This won't hurt a bit, little guy. Aha! I knew it! The same sneaky green footprints! So? That doesn't prove he ate your candy. No, but maybe this will. No candy on his beak. Then who would have eaten it? Never mind that now. We found out where Italy is. But we still need a cage for Angelo. Annabella, do you know where we can find a bird cage? No. I know where maybe we can build one. A backpack. That's a smart way to carry things. Hmm. Maybe I should get one. Come with me. You mean our expedition packs were my idea? Yep. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll fix it with my handy dandy. A totally hefty roll of duct tape. Sorry, guys. That was my last roll. I think it's time for Monday to open her present. Duct tape. <laughs> Remember when we met? In one of my favorite places in the whole world. The junkyard. Good idea, Annabella. Anybody see a bird cage? There's so much cool stuff to go through here. Don't worry. I'm about to get a bird's eye view. Here, Mundy and I can build anything. <laughs> and it really flies? You can take it anywhere you want? Like the North Pole or Africa or the biggest lollipop factory in the world? <laughs> yeah, we've been to lots of places, but not Venice, Italy. Yeah, we mostly flew around this block. We could take your bird there if you want. That would be amazing! Then let's get my new pilot seat installed and take to the skies. What are we waiting for? It's go time! Uh, takeoff time? Action time? Hmm, let's see. We're going on an expedition to Venice. It's expedition time! Sound. 
You're right. The sun's coming out. The storm's over. We can fly home. Aw, right now? We just got to the best part of the story. But I'm hungry, and all of our party food is back at the clubhouse. <gasps> Maybe it's time to give Otto his present. making machine. Thanks, guys. I haven't had homemade noodles since Venice. I can't wait to get started. But Otto, it's your turn to tell the story. Oh, not now, Doki. I'm gonna make spaghetti. <gasps> Swampgetti. <laughs> okay, I'll tell the last part. After we all got through that first bumpy takeoff, it was smooth flying all the way to Venice, Italy. But when we got there, we had a tiny problem. Remember? Otto, where are we going to land? I was going to use a street, but I don't see any. That's because the streets are made of water. It's a good thing Otto had his first ever genius idea. Huh? <laughs> yeah! A perfect landing. You can say that again. Now, let's get you home, Angelo. Next stop, Massimo's Cafe. Uh, you guys go ahead. Mundy and I better talk to those guys about our new landing gear. My poor little pigeon. What if I never see you again? <gasps> I can't believe my ears. Angelo, is it really you? And you brought friends. Oh, or have they brought you? He sprained his wing and couldn't fly. So we brought him home on our friend's plane. Grazie. I don't know how to thank you all. I might have an idea. Mr. Owns a Cafe with lots of delicious food. Yum, 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 yum. Pico. What? <laughs> yummy, yummy. yummy. I wish I had a camera. This spaghetti is delicious, Massimo. Thank you, Bellissima. But I had help from your friend, Otto. He showed me how to use a pasta machine. Check it out. <laughs> no! <Whoa>! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing day. We saved a bird and made new friends. And flew all the way to Italy. We should do this again and again. Yeah. After all, we have a plane with wheels and pontoons. And we should do something to remember every expedition. Like mark each destination on a map. And I can make stickers for everyone. I already started. See? Whoa! Whoa. What happened to my green crayon? It's all hot and sticky. Speaking of green and sticky, that reminds me. We didn't solve the mystery. Where'd my lollipop go? I think I know. Look! See how the sun is shining through Massimo's glasses? They're magnifying the light, making it brighter and hotter. That's what melted the crayon. Do you think Doki's magnifying glass could do the same thing? Sure. That's why I'm so careful with it. It can make things hot enough to melt, like your lollipop. Remember? You put it behind the magnifying glass. It must have magnified the sun's heat enough to melt your lollipop. Then, Angelo walked right through the belt of candy, making sticky green footprints. Wow, mystery solved. And I learned something else, too. From now on, I'm keeping my candy where it belongs. In my stomach! <laughs> <laughs> and Team Doki went on lots and lots of expeditions. Happily ever after. <laughs> it was nice of you guys to name our team after me. That was the best gift ever. Don't be too sure about that. Annabella wrapped it, but it's from all of us. Whoa, a mini video camera. It's so tiny, we'll be able to take it anywhere. You can strap it to your hat. Or your backpack. Or your jetpack. If we ever get a jetpack. Can we get a jetpack? Maybe someday. Yes! I thought being stuck here would wreck our big day. 
but telling our story turned out to be a great way to celebrate. And best of all, it helped me finish this. Presenting the world premiere of my Team Doki celebration song. Words and music by Fico. All rights reserved. Wait, Fico. Okay, action! In a year of expeditions, we traveled far and wide. We certainly did. Becoming such good friends on all those bumpy rides. Another perfect landing? From creative Annabella to Gabby, who's so wise. To Otto and to Monty, their ideas are super size. And then there's Funny Fico with a cool and awesome song. And Doki brings us together. It's why our team's so strong. Such amazing fun that none of us can wait to start out. 